Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to install a new hard drive in your PS3. This can be used for upgrading to a larger capacity if you've run out of space with your huge collection of games, or it can be used for if you're like me and you came by a PS3 that just flat out didn't have a hard drive. Now to start off, I'll mention that for users of the super slim model PS3, to upgrade you just need to back up your data to your USB device and then restore it after putting the new hard drive and you don't need to mess around with firmware. Um, if you're using a super slim model that has the 12 gigabytes of built-in storage, you don't even have to back up and restore. You can just pop your hard drive in and you're good to go because everything's already stored on the PS3. For users of the original PS3 or the slim model, the regular slim model, keep watching. Now you're going to need a hard drive. Most standard 2.5 inch hard drives, commonly referred to as laptop hard drives, will work. Basically it just has to be 9.5 millimeters tall or shorter. And you'll find that most 2.5 inch hard drives will fit. You can actually use an SSD and while that'll give you really fast load times, it's also like super expensive, so your call. You also need a USB storage device. Now that can be either a flash drive, like a little thumbstick, or a hard drive. Um, really the size need just depends on how much stuff you have on your PS3 already. If you're like me and you're just putting the firmware on it, it can be even like a gigabyte. That's fine. To do a backup as well as install the firmware on the drive, you've got to have the USB drive you're using, whether a hard drive or a thumb drive, formatted to FAT32 for the PS3 to be able to read it. Um, now I'll show you how to format it, but that is going to erase everything on the drive, so you'll have to back up that stuff to your computer before you do that. Alright, I'm going to show you how to make sure it's formatted to FAT32 in macOS. If you need to do it on Windows, I'm just going to put a link right here to skip ahead to where I show you how to do it on Windows. So just plug your flash drive in and it should mount to your desktop. Then go to Disk Utility. I just use Spotlight to get to it. You can get to it however you want. Now you'll see your USB flash drive or hard drive along the left here. Just select it. Don't select kind of beneath it where you can almost kind of look at a, lower, a layer lower. Select just the highest one there that is definitely the drive you want. You don't want to accidentally try and erase your main drive. Now this is going to erase everything on the drive you use, so if you have to back up some of it to your computer, do so. Hit erase, and set this format line to ms-dos and then in brackets fat. That's going to set it to the format your PS3 needs it to be. Now just hit erase. And that's done. That's everything for this part. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to format the flash drive to FAT32 in Windows because again, that's what it needs to be to work with the PS3. So just plug your flash drive in, go to My Computer, right click on the flash drive here and go to Format. Make sure this is set to FAT32. You can go ahead and hit Quick Format here if you like. Just hit Start. It's going to warn you. This is going to delete everything on the drive, so back it up if you have to and then just hit OK. Give it a minute, it's going to take a little time, then it'll come up here, format complete. And that's it, that's everything you need for this part. Alright, now to back up your data to the USB device, you're just going to go to System Settings, Backup Utility, Backup, and it's going to ask if you want to back up and warn you about the types of content that won't move over with it, basically movies and such. Hit Yes, pick your USB device, in my case this flash drive. It's going to say preparing for a second and then it's going to start the process. This will take a little while. Once it's done, it'll just notify you. Hit OK and you're good to go. Alright, now you've just got to put the actual firmware for the PS3 to install on your USB device. Um, so this is the same process on Windows and Mac, so I'm just going to show you on Mac. So just go to this website, scroll down and hit download now. This may be a slightly different version when you do it, don't worry about it too much. And there will be a link in the description as well as an annotation link on the video itself. Once that's done, you're going to have this PS3 update file right here. Just open up your flash drive. If you did do a backup, you're going to already have this PS3 folder. If not, just create a new folder, name it PS3 in all caps. Make sure you type it in exactly like that, because if it's not like that, it might not work. It's a little picky. Go in that folder. You'll have one or both of these folders if you did do a backup. Create a new folder called Update in all capitals, whether you did the backup or not. Just drop that PS3 update file into that folder. Once that's done, that's pretty much it for the computer part. 
Now when you first turn it on, you're just going to get this screen saying to connect a controller with a USB cable and hit the PlayStation button. Just do like it says and plug in the controller and hit the PlayStation button. Then it'll take you to this screen saying that the system can't boot correctly, basically. It'll say press the PlayStation button to restart the system. Don't bother with that. Um, just uh, do like it says and connect your flash drive if it isn't already connected, the one we installed the firmware on, and hit the start and select buttons at the same time. Now it's going to say checking for a minute here, give it a little time. Then it'll take you to this screen, it's just warning you that the hard drive you just installed in the PS3 is going to be formatted. To do so, just do like it says, hit the start and select buttons on the controller, and hold those in for at least 5 seconds. Then it's going to take you back to this checking screen, give it some time, and then it's going to get to this formatting screen. Now this will take a little time, so you're going to need to be patient, just let it do its thing. It also may take longer for larger hard drives. Then the PS3 is going to restart, and it's going to boot into this menu for installing the software, so hit the PlayStation button on the controller. At this point you should be safe to unplug the controller from the PS3 and just use it wirelessly. It's going to check for the update data, again, just give it a little time. And then you're pretty much just going to go through a simple setup process. Just accept the user agreement, and it's going to say installing system software. This part may take a few minutes. Just let it do its thing. Okay, it actually took quite a while for me. I had to turn the camera off. <laughs> Once it's done, it'll just restart. Woohoo! Booting up with a nice Sony logo. Alright, now it's going to tell you once again to plug the controller in using a cable. So just do that and then hit the PlayStation button. And then it's just more setup stuff. Pick your language and such. If you're using HDMI, select to use HDMI. It'll switch over to 1080p and look much better for you. Set your date and time. Set up a user for the system. And once you're finished, it's gonna ask you to confirm all these settings. Just hit X to confirm. And now you can set up your internet connection. Once all that's done, you will finally boot into the PS3 menu. Once you're in the menu, your PS3 is ready to use. Um, you can change all your settings around if you like, but uh, now I'm going to show you how to restore your previous backup. So to restore your previous save, just make sure the flash drive is plugged in, head over to System Settings again, Backup Utility, and this time hit Restore, hit Yes, select your USB device, and it'll go ahead and restore. Alright guys, well that's it. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, go ahead and hit the dislike button. But at least leave me a comment telling me why. Constructive criticism is appreciated. Uh, and if you really liked it, or you just want to give me another chance, hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.